Hey guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I just want to do a very, very quick review today on one of the Frasasi fragrance, uh, fragrances uh, that just uh, I just took it for reviewing purpose. I did not purchase this. So I was visiting Perfume Bangladesh, owner Masood Bhai today, not today, yesterday, sniffing a lot of fragrances and purchased quite a lot, um, borrowed some of them to review and stuff. So one of them is this one right here called Yazan. Okay, this fragrance has few reviews on YouTube, but uh, I saw Oz, his review, and I think uh, Flex Your Face Chase, uh, that, that, that dude, I forget his name, with long beard, looks like a Viking, so both of them reviewed it. I really like their reviews, and i just like to add my two cents, with all due respect, with those two very prominent uh, YouTube reviewers, okay? <clears throat> so, I will tackle uh, presentation, price, I'm not quite sure, I forgot to ask the price. I have it on the paper for the dry down and I'll let you know my thoughts on this fragrance, okay? I think it's a good fragrance. It's not mind-blowing, but it's a good fragrance for, I think, on a very basic price range, okay? This is how, once again, the box looks like. It's EDP concentration, but I don't think it's quite that strong. Uh, I'll let you know in a bit <laughs> what it smells like. And it's 100 ml bottle that you get, I think, yeah? Sorry, 85 ml bottle, okay? And at the back, some more information. Rasasi always gives you good presentations. Here's Rasasi in Arabic. It's bottom. This is made in where? I didn't check. This is uh, manufactured April 2018. Quite new. And this is Dubai UAE. Okay, it's all mentioned here. So nothing much to the box, but it is a T sort of, I don't know what for. T is for uh, what? I don't know. So there's a T here. And the bottle actually looks like very cool. I think I really like this bottle design. Bottle design is pretty awesome. So this fragrance bottle is like black. Okay, and it, it has this nice thick glass base until here. You can see the juice moving inside, so it's not opaque all the way. It says the name of the fragrance here, uh, Rasasi, and the cap, it also says Rasasi. So it's quite snug fit, you can pick it up, but and this cap is quite heavy. This is metallic cap. Okay, so good quality cap, and I think this bottle is reminding you of some other bottles. I think Azaro Chrome comes to mind. It has a similar bottle design, but this one has this tea. For some reason i don't know what rasa i i don't know what tea would be for but i think maybe it's just a design looks very nice also rasa has another fragrance that has similar bottle that is tasmin this fragrance is really gorgeous this is inexpensive just like this one but uh tasmin i think is a really awesome fragrance i don't know i forgot how many ml is this just trying to find out i think it's 100 ml yeah so this fragrance you get 100 ml versus 85 ml i think this is actually a little bit cheaper than Tasmim, I'm not quite sure, I could be wrong, but these both are very affordable from Rasazi. So Tasmim is basically more on cardamom, vanilla, very beautiful, sexy fragrance. So this one right here, uh, I think from dry down, let me cut to the chase, there's nothing on fragrantic on this. But upon sniffing, I think I did not see anybody mentioning it so far, but this is a clone of one very popular fragrance from House of Pakuraban back in the days. And if you can see the black bottle, there's another black bottle that this one I think is inspired by. This is called Black Excess, okay? This is just my nose. I'm not telling, like, I'm absolutely right. This one, I have a little bit juice left on this. You can see, I still test it once in a while, but I do not reach for it as much because I have a lot more sweet, uh, fruity kind of fragrances for winter and stuff, okay? So Black Excess, just in short, Black Excess actually is based on pineapple, strawberry, citrus, and then the chocolate. So basically, if you see uh, Mark reviewing it, Mark said this is a, imagine a strawberry covered with chocolate, okay? Or chocolate covered with strawberry, no, no, strawberry covered with chocolate. And you get a lot, little bit of pineapple. If you see the Black Excess Lexi, that one has much more amped up pineapple. This one, it's just very basic citrus, sweet, not very long lasting fragrance. This one doesn't last on me that much. Um, I think this is a good summer fragrance. I think Versace Manu Fresh and Dolce & Gabbana, the one, so Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Pour Femme, similar to this, right? So that's basically the framework of it. Even you see the bottle at the bottom. <laughs> These are just, <coughs> sorry, coincidence, right? So this one actually is a lot more prominent than this one. So the basic difference between these two, what I sniff from the paper, I know how black excess smells. This is a very old bottle of mine. Uh, basic difference what I see from the two, um, the strawberry note that and the pineapple, I think, from black excess is kind of missing in this one. This one, they replaced it by lemon. So when you sniff it side by side, actually, in terms of smell, there's not much difference. You also get the chocolate from here that is praline. 
according to Mr. Oz, I also detected the chocolate. That's how I knew citrus chocolate combo. It reminded me straight away of <laughs> Black Excess. I really like Black Excess, but it's just uh, kind of now uh, I have much better fragrances, but it's a classic nevertheless. It was very big when it came out. It's very popular. So in short, <laughs> no need to talk about notes and everything. I think you're just going to get just in the opening if you spray this. Let me show you. Uh, if you spray this on the same paper, I'll spray. Spray is pretty good on this. Clicks onto place. Yeah, you get actually uh, like a warm, like not warm. It's like a citrusy welcome from lemon, by lemon. And the lemon is not like a lemon pledge or like a four cleaner lemon. It's a very nice sort of a synthetic candy-like lemon. So if you like those lemon candies, it gives you that feel. But it gives you a little bit of sweetness as well. It almost tastes like uh, strawberries, but I don't think there's strawberry in this. Then what you're going to get from this is like citrus mixes with a little bit of chocolate, candy, or something like a <clears throat> just chocolate, you know, but not too dark, okay? Not as dark as the bottle. So yeah, basically you get like a sort of like Christmas kind of a fragrance that you wear, like you can give it to your, I would suggest this highly to teenagers for the price range this comes in. Performance is okay. It's better than, on me at least of the paper, it's better than Black X's, but it's not a beast. It's, I would say like 6.5 out of 10 for longevity and projection. Uh, this stays pretty much around you, but people come near you can smell it. This is much better than your axe, any of those bodies, uh, sprays and stuff. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna get, you know, like it's not about all the, it's not all about the longevity and stuff. You're gonna get like uh, natural smelling. The smell is pretty nice in this, but nothing mind blowing. For, but for the price, I think it's about twenty dollars or less. I, I am guessing, could be twenty two dollars. I don't know. I think it's a great st fragrance for starters. You know, like the. This is more modernist version of Black Excess. So you can give it, definitely give it a try. It's it's not as expensive as Club Nui or some other Rasas is. But I think it's a good um, beginner's fragrance and a good uh, fragrance for everyday usage for students, people who are on budget. Um, you can definitely look in this. Yazan is a great choice. It doesn't smell uh, very niche-like or very high-end designer, but it doesn't smell cheap also. So for the price, you get a very good presentation. Good fragrance from Rossasi. Rossasi is an established brand right now, one of the biggest brands in UAE and Middle East as in whole. But uh, this fragrance right here, I think you can take a look at this. It's not a must buy, but if you're looking just to wear something casually at the weekends or do your shorts, check out Yazan. Good fragrance, uh, solid release from Rossasi. I'm gonna give this 7 out of 10. Uh, not bad at all. Bottle is very, very heavy. That's all for today. Let me go and I'm very tired for the whole day. I was very excited running with the fragrances. Tomorrow I'll come back. If I'm good, I'll do some fragrance reviews for you guys. And tomorrow, I might do Midnight Poison. My mom is like, I want my bottle back. <laughs> this is my mom's bottle. I might do the review on this masterpiece tomorrow. Everybody have a very good night. I'll talk to you soon. Let me go and get some nap, <laughs> get some sleep. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.